We have heard and probably witnessed cases of lecturers grading students in exchange for sexual favors. Now, what can be done completely to deal with this menace plaguing Nigerian universities? That is what we're here right on the street to find out and hear from our people concerning this topic. Okay, guys, do not go anywhere. We'll be right back just after the short break. And do not forget you're watching the Echo Hot blog and do not also forget to subscribe. My name is Okoli Gwistela. been going on for long it doesn't start today and I don't think there is any way they can erase it the only thing is it can be minimized okay. the way you address is the way people will address you if a lecturer asks of sex from you and you are decent in your own way and you know very well that you are decent you can always kneel down and pray especially if you know what you are doing and you are very sure that you know what you are writing that you don't need to uh, bend down to a lecturer's um, deal all you need to do is face your study read very well and go to god and god will fight the battle for you maybe i'll like my school now university of Illinois, most of our exams were cbt based if most courses are cbt based that means the computer will, will grade the students it will be able to curb um lecturers um, lecturers um, attitudes concerning that it so I think that's the major thing that can be gone through or if if there is a board maybe the lecturer won't be the only one that can grade the students maybe there are more than one concerning that particular course so it, that will be able to curb that attitude it is an uh, whatever uh, plans or whatever Law that is um, uh, that is that has been made to to stop all this act. It depends on our personal uh, decision on it. You understand? Both on the man's side, the lecturer, okay. and the lady who is who wants to go into the act. You understand what I'm saying? So it is uh, no matter the law to stop it. It is an individual personal decision that I will not go into it. If the lecturer asks you as a lady, you understand, you, you have your decision, no matter the course, no matter the case, it is not compulsory that you must pass or he must make you to pass a subject because of, I mean, you have to give out something. You understand? So it is the lady's personal decision to stop the act and at the same time, it is the man's personal decision to, um, to also not to ask for that kind of a thing. So, the man, definitely, you have made the law that, okay, anyone that goes into this or that did this must be penalized or must be, must be judged according to the law. You understand? Even if the lecturer knows that, he will still ask. But it's your own personal decision as a lady to resist the man. Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing that, sir. I'm not going to do that. So, that will actually go a long way. Parents need to always, from time to time, know their children. Talk to them, give them, give them the good discipline oh. that they need. Then for the for the lecturer, I think the community, uh, the society as a large, need a kind of um, need to know lecturer P degree. Those who are lecturer, you need to the institution need to know who are lecture this lecturer very well. They should know who what the are able to do, they should know their um, track record, are they disciplined? That's not a good thing to do, actually. If you want to grade a child, if the child is doing very well, she should grade a child without asking for anything like sex or whatever. But for it to be stopped, I think our federal government should do something about it. Okay. So I feel so, because the, the dean or the um, VC can't do anything about it, because we don't know if they're among two. I think it, there has to be transparency. If there's no transparency in um, the grade system, like now a student should be able to demand for his papers and know if he deserves to be scored a particular grade or not. So I, I feel that if lecturers are more transparent or if the school system puts a lot of, if they put a structure for transparency, 
then I think sexual harassment will stop. Look at Nigeria, for example, there's too much atrocity going on around, not only university. Even in parasitical ministry, banks, before you are taken in as a staff, oh, you have to either, they will ask you to pay with your body. So I think it's not only in the university that such thing is happening. So generally what I would want to advise is that uh, we Nigerians should, should try to look at some of the things we do wrongly and try to begin to question ourselves, change our attitude. Because one of these days, the lecturer that is asking for sex, one of these days the daughter also, somebody is going to ask her eh, before they can give her what she wants. The person in the bank or in ministry or any parasitic that is asking for sex before getting somebody employed. One of these days, the daughter or the son also, we have to use the body to pay. We should just find a way to change our ways of life. I think we are being, we are being, we are being biased with concluding in that regard. University lecturer can use Mark, can use Mark as a result to get sex from the student. Does not mean the students are not putting effort also to seduce the lecturer as well to get Mark. Though I'm not saying university lecturers are doing what is right. However, our culture, we've lost our position of culture where you see girls pump up their breasts in order to seduce a lecturer or you see girls trying to pay to seduce a lecturer with a, a two, three ways way, way to get the mark. If you can't read, why do, is it, everybody cannot go to school. That's my view. Everybody can go to school and it does not mean everybody will not succeed. It's just the ability to identify what you are good at and as well project what you are good at and put your effort. Even this, I think one of the holy books say, he say, he say, walk and I will bless the the work of your hand. Does not say, oh, seduce, and I will bless the seduce you do. It's a work. So obviously I would say that, oh, lecturers should stop bad habits in a micro society. Because I want to believe that every university or every polytechnic or every college of education are micro society of Nigeria, micro Nigeria. It's a critical issue. What I believe we can do for now is the parent that will take that step. When we agree together as a parent that this thing must stop, they must stop that thing in the university because when they talk about the youth, by the time they want to go for rally or to protest, you understand, they can take it another way for the government. But when the parents come together, when they agree, my parent, my, make, for example, maybe my child come home and told me about the issue, then I know a few parents that we are together there. Then let's come together and protest or write to the government. Or we go, we, we go to that school, we have, we have a, we, we call their professor and whatsoever. They like the person that, definitely you know the person that come to you for proposal or want to arise you with sexual, uh, this thing. So we can go there, we discuss about it, then we take it up, we can send it on air. By the time we come together and we send it on air, I think there will be a solution to it. It's a parent issue that we have to take it up. Because those people, they don't have power to, to overcome those uh, issues. They will tell you if you don't have this, you can't have smack. Actually, I went to school in OH and I knew what the past, even the married people, when we are going to school, I knew what they did to them. It depends on the parents and it depends on the individual, of the lady. You understand? It can only take ox to river. They will not give the horse river. The lecturer, they rape them. You know, there's everything there's got there's a limit for everything. Many things can be done, okay. but I think these lecturers always do this in favor of grades. And being in school, you always want to pass. You get so most of the ladies or the girls in school always fall for this because of their grades. Because if you come out in school without a good grade, I don't know what your parents will be of you because of the money they have spent. So, but coping this act, I think um, the university should get used to the modern facilities, the cameras everywhere. I don't know if it's possible in the, in the lecturers' offices, classrooms around the universities, use cameras and I think it will minimize it because they will be afraid of getting caught. I think the government should, should take action, serious action on it, because it happens to me. My daughter that attended the NDA, 
Imagine military school, a lecturer, even a pastor, older. Like I think he's, the man was at the age of uh, 70 years or so. Was trying to, I mean, to attract my daughter with money that he's going to sponsor her with a plane a flight money. That was when my daughter called me on phone and uh, reported the case to me. So we have to uh, take it up. I took it up. She reported to the uh, counselor in the school and they took it up. To God be the glory, they sacked the man. My second daughter too, that attended, uh, attended the Ilori University, same thing happened to, happen to her. She has to be hiding herself uh, before going to the lecture room or before going to see the lecturer, you understand? So I have to, I bought her those long, long uh, clothes that will make her to look like an old woman so that it, it, she will not be attracted to the, uh, to the lecturer. That was the way we now managed to do it before she uh, graduated. I think the government should see to it and to know how they are going to deal with them. Maybe there will be a uh, ransom for them to, or the penalty they are going to give to, to them, or like uh, re, uh, the uh, charges they gave to rapists. Maybe they should give it to them. Well, I think that's why we have the Student Union. Okay. And we have the Senate. We have honorables and Senate in the Student Union. I think they have a lot to do about things like that. And also, um, they can come up with a committee set as a committee that can be able to tackle issues like this. They can go as far as um, um, getting students that um, they can get students working for them and knowing lecturers that are such traits. Okay. And when such issues are caught, it should be dealt with honestly, not just, it should be dealt with openly. All other people are going to learn from, if one lecturer is caught on an art like that, other lecturers will learn. I think all of them are going to debate for such art, honestly. She should just leave the mark and go and report to police or any body else. Well, I don't think you can stop it because it's rampant. Because even if you try, there are some, you know, corner corner stuff that are happening. Some students actually love, you know, meeting lecturers for, you know, grade marks and something like that, and they exchange with um, sex and something like that. So I don't think you can eradicate it because even if you were, you were to eradicate the system, if you, if any student, or let me say, um, if any student actually approaches a lecturer and the lecturer bills the student, I'm sure the student cannot be able to, um, you know, pay the bills. So they have to use alternatives. So I don't think anything can be done. It's already in the system. It will take a lot of time and period for you to eradicate such. Okay. This really needs to be addressed because the earlier the better. Now guys, tell us what do you think that can be done to completely deal with the menace plaguing Nigerian universities? Do that on the comment section and we'll be right here to answer all your questions. And of course, you know, I'll always remind you definitely please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Echo Hot Blog, and keep watching The Echo Hot Blog where you get all the information that you need happening around town and even beyond. Yes, my name remains Okoli with Stella T. We'll see you again, guys. Bye.